Astrophotography is a science tool developed by the knowledge and practice of many disciplines. Scientists use it to collect an amount of light to understand our cosmos. This light gathering technique became a pillar for science, inspiring new ideas and technologies. The impressive outcome becomes a great inspirational and educational tool, like any other, that allows the viewer to be transported into the unseen. There's a thin boundary between science and art, which makes astrophotography a great channel to promote dark sky behaviors in culture. is finished, the outcome breaks the boundary of the impressive, and to most observers, inspire dreams and curiosity. It tells the stories of galaxies, nebulas, solar systems, and nowadays, cultural and natural astronomical planetary landscapes. Science and art are immersed together into visual poetry. From the different astrophotography expressions, my favorite is landscape astrophotography. This technique opens channels to easily connect the viewer with the cosmos. It discovers nature and the scales of wonders. Watching the sky have changed my perception of life and what surrounds me. I wish to inspire as an outcome of all my work. Mesoamerica and epigraphers tell us that the Maya drew the moon goddess with the rabbit in her hand, alluding to the dark region of the moon's surface. Ixchel, the goddess. We know that the pilgrims travel to Santiago Compostela following the Milky Way during summer. But what now? I am a living witness of the stars disappearing. When I was little, I went to the roof to see the stars. During the years, I watched as the less bright ones were disappearing. By 2016, it was calculated that 80% of the world population lived in the light polluted skies. A bland stereo lighting rays are causing a natural disaster and a great gap between humans and nature, especially at night. At a great scale, an alarming small period. Dark skies are at great risk. Cities continue to grow, and large community of satellites arrays are proposed by projects like Starlink. Since we reached the moon, human population almost doubled. We expand our boundaries in communications. And now social media can become a great source to battle a big gap between humans and nature. As we start asking questions like who we are, where do we go, and what surrounds us. Astronomy is a humble character building experience, Carl Sagan said. In my trips, knowing all the way of thinking, I understood that all cultures have a past with the stars. It wasn't until I saw the Milky Way for the first time with my own eyes that I knew how much I was missing I was frustrated that I was with, that I witnessed and ignored what was happening in the streets. And I also knew that we reached the moon as one of the greatest achievements in human history. We can do great things. Oh, I believe it's really.
to both consciousness and understand where we are and what surrounds us. I feel happy that I am a part now of a big number of humans around the world taking action against light pollution. An example, I was honored to be part of the production team of Camino Eterno, producer of Planetaria Ciudad de la Plata, where we document the astronomical heritage of Argentina and the story was told through an astrophotography traveling experience. One hundred and eighty years have passed since the first astrophotography. Astrophotographers are now reaching millions around the world, and capturing the night sky is becoming the new cultural astronomical behavior that could end in the largest dark sky movement in history. When you're in love, you want to tell the world, Carl Sagan said. Astrophotographers reflect in their images a lifelong love affair with astronomy. For me, it's not just about showing pretty pictures, it's about inspiring, it's about reaching and changing people's behavior with my work. So I also develop dark sky events, such as lights out, astrotourism, workshops, lectures, and my goal is for people to see the sky which is where the perception of light changes. Thank you. 
Los mayas reflejaron sus avances astronómicos en arte, estelas, monumentos y códices. Desarrollaron calendarios avanzados capaces de predecir eventos astronómicos. Actualmente el uso del calendario Cholkij es muy importante debido a su uso ceremonial en las comunidades mayas por parte de los contadores del tiempo. Esta es Guatemala, la tierra de los mayas. He aquí el guardián del cielo, que ofrece con fuego sagrado el punto donde el cielo y la tierra se tocan. El principio y el fin. Sabiduría cósmica, un corazón que se convierte en una estrella. Mi destino es la noche, donde brillan las estrellas.